This shed, probably 45 buildings in here, a few over there, is not an ideal spot for all of this. Yeah, they're heavy. Pieces of history. This is one of the barns for the uh, French farm complex. With no place to be, at least, until these. I'll put the, the new metal ones on. Are ready. Oh, this is going to be great. For battle. This is going to be a good runner. Surrounding Paul Howell and Dwayne Pryor are tanks, planes, soldiers, and more. A collection stemming from their nonprofit. These are direct replacement for those? Yeah. The Front Range yeah, Armored think. Group started by Paul in 1999. Four guys, uh, myself and three others, who wanted to <clears throat> have outdoor battles that we could uh, replicate in miniature World War II battles. The group brings together veterans, history buffs, and people that just love building these tanks. It's almost like meditating in a sense. Uh, it's quiet, and you've got a game or something on in the background, and you can just kind of just disappear and focus on what you're doing. And in the end, the results are, it's gratifying. It really is. For years, they leased a spot from the Littleton School District's bus depot. Video from them gives a glimpse at their setup. We had roads and tunnels and hills and valleys and uh, just all kinds of scenes that were basically you'd find in Normandy. From here, they put on battle days for all to see and enjoy. Uh, so I think teaching the history, the interpretive history of World War II is foremost important to me. They took this work to schools to help educate kids on World War II. Church groups, Boy Scout troops, and veterans came to see what they were all about, and membership was a hit until a few years ago. We have none of that now because we don't have the facility. In 2019, the district told the group they needed the space back. You guys ready? Since then. Thank you for coming. Welcome to Frag's Battle Day. And they can only meet once a month at this church in Aurora. It's not the best place for a battle, but it'll do for now. Let's get together and figure out our strategy here. He's just gonna keep hitting me. And if you can keep him on the bridge, then you've tied up a bridge. Get him. All right, they're coming, so get yourselves out there. Oh! <laughs> I did all right, I took three of them out. <laughs> People come from all over just for this, like Jerry Dickinson from Wyoming. Any hobby worth doing is gonna cost you some money. Even kids. So you gotta drive across the bridge. Including Paul's grandson. Atta boy. We believed early on that in order to hold membership, you had to have a place to run things, a battlefield. Passion isn't built overnight. I'm always out, though, but we will. <laughs> but to these folks, it's a passion that deserves a rightful home. <laughs> you took two out. With photojournalist Taylor Schuss. All right, the Germans won. I'm Louis de Leon for Nine News. Shoot, the Germans won. That's not a great outcome. Uh, ideal spot for them apparently would be a large indoor facility where they can like actually build a landscape indoors there and then they'd be able to run several large battlefields at once. They also want to set up a makeshift museum to show all of their research materials.